Hi everyone, Gregor here again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Sessionize to set up an event such as the Festive Tip Calendar. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on Sessionize.com. Let me go ahead and log in. Now that you've logged in, I can see that as an organizer, uh, these are the kind of events that I'll be taking part in. I can also go to speaker and you can see my speaker details. You can see the ones that have been accepted for and the ones that haven't been accepted for. You can go in and edit your profile. You can add bits about yourself, public profile, make a private profile. Have a look at the sessions that you can talk about. These are the ones that I've kind of went for. Yeah, so let's go back to organizer. Okay, so we're back on the organizer page. Let's go ahead and create a new event. And what I'm going to do is just set up a dummy event just to see, just to show you how easy it is to go about creating a new event. So let's just call this Gregor's Conference 2021. And we'll say it's between the 2nd of July, we'll say it's the 1st of July and the 1st of August. Sorry, 1st of September. Okay, the event time zone, let's just leave it at UTC, sorry. We'll start the call for speakers on the, I don't know, let's go for the 1st of January till the 20th of February. Yeah, sounds good. And we'll have it as Gregor's Conference 2021. That's fine, that's just the call for speakers address. So this is the web address for people who can go to this URL and uh, submit their sessions. And then you just have a support email. So in this example, I'm just going to create a demo event. So you get an idea of what you need to fill in. So because it's a demo event, you can see it's a event status of test. And if it's a free event that you don't need to pay to attend, then you don't need to pay to use Sessionize, which is really nice. You can send them an email and then they'll, they'll let you use this sessionize.com for free, which is really cool. So now that we've created the event, we can see the kind of dashboard and the list of things we need to do. So we can send some event properties. So let's go ahead and click edit event. And then here you can do in-person event or online event. So let's go for online event. You can give it your URL. So you maybe just give it, you can give it your Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram, give a description. And that's the first tab. So that's the event details. Next up, we have the call for speakers page where you can put in your logo. You can put in the, again, you can change the address. You can give it a date of when it opens, put some details in. Um, you can put in expenses covered. Covered, Obviously, if it's an online event, that doesn't really um, count. Again, you can allow sessionizing speakers to share this uh, call for speakers publicly. So you need to put in the, the, the category, the topics. Submission limit um, and co-speakers. So how many co-speakers are allowed if someone's doing an event, doing a session, sorry. So that's this call for speakers page. Next up, you have the session fields. So when people are submitting sessions, what are the details that you need to record? So you need to record things like the session title, session description, and then you can choose what kind of format is available to choose from. So you've got defaults to lightning talk, session, or a workshop. You can add your own in. So let's just do hackathon, for example. And then add hackathon. So now you've got four. Again, you can remove them. So if you want to get rid of workshops, you can, you can go back to that. Then you've got three. You can choose the different types of tracks. So you can have business, technical, or scientific. Maybe you want, I don't know, finance, for example. Then we have the level, so you've got introductory, intermediate, advanced, expert. You could change that to something like 100, 200, 300, 400, for example. Um, you can also choose the different languages that are available for speakers to submit sessions in, tags, and you kind of get the idea. So that's the session fields. Then you have the speaker fields, so the actual speaker who's going to be doing the talk, what details do you want to record from them? So you can say that you want the full name, email, Tagline, biography, photo, you can do things like photo required and you must give them the Twitter and LinkedIn. 
and then shirt size in case they want you want to send them a t-shirt and then there's also advanced settings as well I don't really ever use this so that's kind of how you set up a conference so let's go back and look at the festive tech calendar set up and I'll show you what we had for that So here we are back on the festive tech calendar and you kind of get a list of all the things you need to do so we created the event we set up the additional properties we set up the call for speakers page to open and as you're going down here one by one it, it kind of ticks them off the call for speakers we went to let's just have a look for the call for speakers page so there you can see we had 129 submissions um you can see all the different speakers here you can see all the different formats. Um, what else can you see? You can see the list of speakers once you once they're all chosen. You can see who gets accepted and declined. And you can also go in and mass email them. So you can inform all the speakers at the one time. So you can basically say for all the accepted sessions, send an email. For all the declined sessions, send an email. And you even get a nice little format for like this. We're really sorry about the following sessions have not been accepted. It puts in your event and there's all these kind of parameters as well and you can send that one email to that one person who didn't get accepted um so that's just like a demo test page you can even test it and it'll send you the email so you can see what it looks like first you can do mass mailing so you can mass mail everyone which is really quite cool um you can set up a team so you can set up a team of organizers who are all involved in setting all this up so we'd say that adam is a Richard and myself all working on this. Um, you can set up a mobile app, which is really cool. You can have the Festive Tech Calendar mobile app with all the speakers. It's really nice. Um, the one thing I didn't really want to show you was there's an API for, for a couple of things. So shout out to Izzy, um, Izzy Dora for, for, for showing me this. So you can set up a new API. And if you go into the API, you can change the colors and stuff like that. And I'll show you why that's quite important in a second. Um, if you go down to this bit here, you can set up schedules grid table. So that's going to give you an output of all the the schedule grids table. There's also sessions where you can get the list of sessions, the list of speakers, and the speaker wall. And if I let me show you what that looks like. So if you go to get code, and you want to see like the session list, you can show that in preview, and that shows you all the sessions in a grid that you can then grab the you can copy this script into your website and it will give you a list of all the, the sessions. So what I did for speaker wall is I went to speaker wall and this is the speaker wall. You grab the you grab the HTML and I just popped it into the website code and that gave me my really cool um, list of speakers like that. And I didn't have to do anything, which is really cool. Really, really like that feature. So that's the speakers wall. There's the speakers list, which is kind of similar. Um, and a couple of these other ones are retired. So that's really pretty powerful. Really, really helpful. Um, you can also see the change history of all the changes that you've made. Email history. All the emails that you've sent. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Let's go back to the dashboard. So the dashboard, you can see how many sessions there are and unique speakers. How many sessions were declined. Um, you can see how many have been accepted. You can see when the page is open, the call for speakers page, the secret page. If you want to have anyone who's missed the deadline, you can send them that URL, um, and they can log it. They can add their session after it's finished. Um, so yeah, that's a really quick rundown of how to go about setting up an event in Sessionize, and it's really really cool. You can do the whole thing from here. I've used this a number of times, so. Hope you enjoyed this video. Find it useful, let me know. Any questions, please do ask.